Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 10th, 2023. Well, doggone it, yesterday those bulls actually did do a pretty good job of pushing through yesterday morning, but unfortunately we smacked our head into some price resistance, leaving behind some uncertain candle patterns and some possible topping patterns as we um, smack our head into some resistance. Now if we take a look at our Dow here, we still hold the Dow as the strongest of the index. So we've got 30 stocks in the Dow doing the majority of the lifting here in the market. And if we take a look, we ran our head right into some price resistance here in the chart. And then the bears took over, um, turning us back lower on the day. As you can see, we ended up finishing the day down just a little bit into the red. And unfortunately, what we look like we could be doing is falling right back down into this congestion zone here this morning. You can see we're getting a little bit of a gap down here this morning in anticipation of Jerome Powell's speech today. So what does that mean? Well, let's take a look. If those bears continue to find inspiration here, then I would suspect that we run that risk that we could push down into this low area here of that congestion zone, which unfortunately would be a big point move. Now, if the bulls um, are willing to defend and really work hard, we might be able to hold the top side of this area here of this congestion and hold that as support here in the Dow. We'll have to see. And it's really going to come down to however the market reacts to the Jerome Powell comments today because there really isn't much else for the market to react to today. So watch that carefully. If the bulls work hard enough to defend, we might hold off of this area. And that gives us our best opportunity that we could even create a little higher low and push on through. But unfortunately, if those bears um, maintain that um, energy here today and we drop back down into here, well, then I think we are still in that situation where we could continue to chop until we move out here toward the end of the week and start picking up on some of those big bank earnings reports. So a lot of uncertainty here about the earnings. Um, um, looking forward, a lot of worry about recession, worry about earnings misses, things like that. So keep a close eye on that. Now, if we take a look at our technicals here in the chart, well, I got to give this still to the bulls. The bulls are holding in there pretty well. Notice that we pushed down yesterday, but at the close of yesterday, we were still above our 50 day moving average. Now this morning with the gap down, we're going to be testing that 50 day moving average as support. So it's going to be critical if those bulls defend here, we could be in good shape. But if the bears regain and we dip back below that 50 day uh, moving average, well, psychologically, that is a little bit of a problem and can create um, a little bit of bearish sentiment in the market. Now let's take a look at the other indexes and unfortunately the other indexes aren't nearly as bullish. We continue to remain underneath our long-term bear trends here in the chart and although we popped up out of that um, um, resistance um, consolidation in here, we popped right up into the price action resistance here in the chart and then rejected that. that. Um, so the bears came back in pushing us back down. So once again, if those bulls can find enough inspiration here to hold the top of this and bounce off of it, that's probably our best bullish case. If the bears push down on through here and we're back into our chop zone, well, anything is possible. I don't think it gets really bad in the market unless we break the support levels of that consolidation. Our um, moving averages here, as you can see, this would be another failure at the 50 day moving average. So a rally back up, fail at the 50 day. We're trying to follow through with that this morning. And if we were to break back down into that consolidation zone, 
that might be a little bit of a problem here for the market and really adding to that bearish sentiment. You want to notice here that um, our 200 day continues to decline, our 50 day is flattening and starting that uh, potential rollover here. So watch that close. Our QQQ remains the weakest of the indexes and although we had a pretty substantial rally um, yesterday, you'll wanna note that we continue in our bear trend here overall in the market. And although we had a good positive reaction to this support level in here in the chart, well, this smacking into resistance and rejecting uh, that area here yesterday with the shooting star pattern leaves a little bit of concern here in the market. Once again, however, if we can kind of hold that big candle, these, these tops of this little consolidation, if we can hold that, if the bulls have the energy and they hold that and bounce off, well, that's probably our best chance that we push on through um, to the upside for a little bit. But if those bears find inspiration in those Powell comments today and push back down into this congestion area, well, there's not a lot in here except these lows to protect us, which is a pretty substantial move lower. And if we take a look at our technicals here, unfortunately our technicals in the QQQ are not good. Um, we rallied up, didn't quite make it to the 50. Notice our 50-day moving average has already rolled over. Um, our 200-day moving average is declining. We're not looking so good here. So we need something in the news to provide us some bullish inspiration or we run that risk. We're back down here testing these lows pretty quickly. If we take a look at our IWM, now IWM had a pretty good day yesterday rallying up and you notice that although we ran into some price resistance and we show that same kind of topping pattern in the price action, well, um, we didn't pull back um, enough uh, or as much as we would expect or what we saw in the other indexes. So keep an eye on this. This might be our best opportunity that we find a little bit of bullish support in here and we rally back up in that chart. Unfortunately, if we were to dip back down into that congestion zone, well then again, we just have that uncertainty here in the market. And what this could be um, I want to point this out. What this could be is just a continuation of this downtrend. We had a lower high, lower low. This might be the next lower high. And does that tell us that the possibility that there is a lower low on the way? I think that possibility does exist. So we want to watch that carefully. And if we take a look at our moving averages, again, failing at the 50 day, trying to follow through to the downside. Notice our 50 day moving average is starting to turn. Our 200 day moving average is providing us a bit of a moving average squeeze to the downside here. So we're gonna need something um, pretty darn bullish to pump us up and push us through those levels. Let's take a look at our VIX. An interesting thing that continues to happen here in our VIX is when we get a good day, our VIX drops hard like we had over here. VIX dropped hard right down into support. When we get a bad day in the market, we don't care. And we barely responded back up here in that VIX. So still got to give that to the bulls. I don't exactly know what's going on here. However, there is a report from Goldman Sachs that says there is more money being pushed or have al has already been pushed toward money market funds than at the depths of the 2020 um, pandemic low. So you'll want to think about that. If if we are running that much fear uh, in the market that everybody's just bailing and moving over to money market funds to protect their capital, well, that might be an indication why we're not seeing that fear spike up so much. Um, volume remains um, notably low um, in the market. So. Um, keep a close eye on that. And if we look across here, 
um, there's that resistance level that we're going to have to be dealing with. And if the bears are going to um, get something going here, they're going to have to break that area here in the chart. If the bulls continue to um, push on, then we'll watch for this break of this little upside trend going on here in the VIX. Very interesting patterns here and kind of an anemic VIX in a way, not really responding as you would expect. And then if we take a look at our T2122, well, our T2122 yesterday made it all the way up here. We were about 97 up here um, at the high point of the day. We were really pressing that um, uh, bearish resistance um, in the chart. And as I mentioned yesterday, I kept saying over and over, watch for the potential of the pop and drop. And essentially that's what we ended up getting by the end of the day. Just that worry about what Powell may say today um, and created that little bit of a pullback. Now, what that means is, is if the bulls can find some something to hold on to inspiration wise, well, we've opened a little bit of upside opportunity to push back up and maybe retest those highs of yesterday. But if those bears find inspiration, we want to just note that we've opened up a very big downside opportunity in the chart. And the reason that's important is we can move quickly today based on how the market reacts to the Powell comments. So um, just kind of be a little bit careful here this morning as we wait. If we take a look at our T2108, gotta tell you, this um, continued to, to surprise me, continues to surprise me. The bulls are holding in here pretty solidly. So notice that we did turn just a little bit here on our T2108, the number of stocks holding above the 40 day. Uh, 54, almost 55% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. But you also want to recognize there's a fairly significant resistance level in the chart so right in this area so we're, we're gonna make that decision here probably sooner we're we gonna push through that level though the bulls gonna maintain or pick up that control and push on through or will we pull back from this level if those bears take over so watch that close and our t2107 very much the same um, we responded bullishly to this support level here so i'm going to say t2107 looks considerably better than um, um, t2108 this is the percentage of stocks above the 200 day and if you'll notice in here we pressed up here pretty nicely yesterday in that move and although we hooked over just a little tiny bit toward the end of the day there's no um, fear showing up here in t2107 so again i gotta give kudos to the bulls they're hanging in there strong despite the poor economic data that we see in the market um, if we take a look at our t2101 i'm going to continue to say t2101 just doesn't know what to do with itself kind of like the vix um, volumes remain uh, uh, anemic and um, so choppy that it's really difficult to gain any information in here about what the momentum of the market is and that's really the purpose of this indicator let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar has a few things that we're going to want to pay attention to um, and, and mostly things looking forward. Uh, today we've got Jerome Powell. We've got a um, NFIB small, small business optimism report. We'll see if that has any effect whatsoever and it's unlikely that it does. There may be a little bit of interesting information coming in the wholesale inventories if we see those. This is a preliminary number. If we see those creeping up, um, that could have um, a negative effect on the market. And there is reason to believe that that could occur um, as we've seen um, our PMI numbers really decline sharply into contraction, meaning that uh, maybe the wholesalers and retailers aren't moving product as like as much as they'd like to and but today's big um, thing is going to be about a half hour after the market opens that's going to be the Jerome Powell comments whether or not he remains hawkish or if you know the narrative that all these talking heads continue to try to push forward is now the fed's going to quickly pivot um so we'll have to see i kind of suspect because we can continue to hear from 
uh, members in here, they're, they're, they are hopeful that we're seeing that inflation ease a little bit. And we've heard a little bit of comments about the potential for soft landing is improving. But um, at the same time, they've been very um, stalwart and saying no, we're going to continue to fight this inflation and we'll probably see more interest rate hikes and then hold them there at that restrictive level for a longer period of time so watch that closely if he comes off um, hawkish and continues on that may be seen bearish in the market because we continue to buy this narrative over and over and over oh the fed's going to give it up oh the fed's going to pivot and so far that just hasn't been the case um, and and then as we move forward, I want you to notice there's not a whole lot here for Wednesday. And what we're going to be thinking about is those big bank earnings that are going to begin here toward the end of the week and that CPI and jobless claims. Those have been problematic for us. We'll want to watch that closely. And we've got a bunch more Fed speak throughout the week. So kind of keep that in mind as we come into um, those um come into those uh, big earnings reports and all the uncertainty that we've got going on those. Um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now our earnings calendar is relatively light today. There are five confirmed reports, but three of those just have such low volume that they didn't make my list of notables here today. So ACI and you know, is this going to be a huge notable? No, not really. But it's not really going to be a market mover. But if you take a look, ACI did pop. We're getting a little bit of pop and drop going on in the pre-market here on their earnings report. And the only other one is BBBY. And it's really hard to call this a, a notable in the market because it looks like BBB, BBY, uh, or BBBY is headed toward uh, bankruptcy. So watch that closely this this easily could end up at zero here before too long so watch that close um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click the bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that favor and that would be click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment and share this video out on your social media feeds that helps us to continue to grow we're approaching we're approaching um, 29,500 here so my goal was to reach 30,000 by the end of the year didn't quite make that but we continue to grow and thank you so much to everyone who continues to support this kind of content that's not full of hype or prediction um, uh, honestly um, humbled by that and I thank you very much let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up and let's keep in mind that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're gonna have to do your own due diligence be very very careful here on um, these trades because I would suspect over the next few weeks even we're gonna see some very high emotion in the market and I can't tell you what's going to happen I think there is a possibility that the market could ignore um, bad economic data and surge higher and what I mean by that is they have their analysts out there lowering estimates targets and and that possibility that we could hit that estimates target and even though they're not making it um, as much money as they were last year doesn't matter if they can uh, manipulate the market that way we oftentimes get a bounce so that would not surprise me at all going into earnings and then on the other hand it wouldn't surprise me at all with the condition of the overall economy that we actually see some pretty big misses on those estimates and that could create some a very bearish sentiment in the market so keep a close eye on that anything is possible i think so let's take a look at a few of these charts um, that i've been paying attention to one um I got to tell you, I, I've been pretty impressed here with what I've been seeing in some of these old boring stocks like AT&T holding up really strongly here. Now, 
I know it's not one of those fun stocks to trade because it's not normally a fast mover. Um, and I am seeing that AT&T today is catching some upgrades. So watch that carefully in here. If this holds that high or low, there may be some upside opportunity coming in AT&T. It may be something that you want to just pick up as a hold so that you can grab that nice dividend yield here on AT&T if it does rally to the upside. Um, unfortunately, oops. When I look at Verizon, Verizon is um, stretched out here just a little bit and may need a little bit more rest or consolidation, but it could find a little bit of warm and fuzzy, you know, with the AT&T upgrades um, today. So watch that carefully. Uh, Verizon may have that opportunity. I still think it might need a little bit of rest or consolidation, though, before it's ready to go. So keep an eye on that. Take a look at KHC. My goodness. Um, Kraft Heinz has just been really, really strong. Moving to the upside now, you see a little pop and drop in the pre-market here on that. I do think this needs a rest or a pullback consolidation of some kind. Kind of slide out here toward the trend for that next opportunity. But I think it's worth putting that on the list. Um, as you guys know, I've mentioned this one before. Um, TSM is something I've been kind of paying attention to. TSM is um, a semiconductor, uh, Taiwan semiconductor, and we know they're building that big uh, plant in Arizona. A um, lot of expense and things going in uh, to that, but it's interesting to see that we may be defeating this downtrend here in TSM. And I'd be watching this for that potential that this could create that higher low in here. If you notice right in here, this might be a little cup being formed and if that handles out here look for that upside opportunity maybe to come into TSM so watch that one close I think it's worth putting on a list and paying attention to and I'm seeing some good moves in you know some of these stocks trying to come up like AMD um, we're trying to push up into these downtrends now the question is can we push through those downtrends hold a higher low and then actually start building some constructive patterns here in the chart but it's worth keeping an eye on and paying attention to if they can push forward but I have to say tech would be one of my least favorite areas right now to be looking for a lot of trades because a lot of damage here and I think earnings are going to be pretty rough for these guys so watch that close uh, CPB CPB has been holding in here strong and although we pulled back here on that chart again it's another defensive sector dividend payer here um, watch this area of support if it holds then there may be that opportunity here that we kind of contact this trend out here soon if that holds and we look for that next opportunity then to the upside in CPB Merck Merck has been holding up really well but yesterday got hit on the head pretty hard and uh, pulling back so you might want to watch this one carefully if it can hold this support I think that it'll be fine but if we were to drop through this support maybe we just kind of stretch this one a little bit too far to the upside when it comes to uh, the short side of the market well I think there's a lot of opportunities in there for the short side when we take a look at some of the big techs my goodness um, um, notice here in Google we rallied up yesterday banged our head into price resistance and downtrend I think there is every reason to believe that this has that potential to move on lower um, Microsoft Microsoft rallied up banged its head into price resistance pushing back down I think there would be every reason also to believe that that could move on lower here in the chart um, some of our retailers um, like Walmart Walmart rallying up um, running into some price resistance and it happens to be right around that 50-day moving average um, some of our retail um, I can expect that they are running into some sales problems here with um, the constraints that the consumers are feeling right now so I would keep an eye on some of these if this were to fail on down that 
that creates a pattern that we call the blue ice failure pattern and it would typically take us down toward that 200 day moving average so watch for those lower highs that may be coming here into play in some of these charts so with that guys there's a few things for you to pay attention to a few things for your list i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks so much for being here i do truly appreciate it i want to wish you um, success in your trading and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.